Okay. Um, what's the worst bit of advice you've ever heard or received? Worst. Dude. Like this is like this worst. is bad, bad advice by a dickhead who gave you bad advice. Advice, not best. Man. Worst. <laughs> Man, if I had to say bad advice, um, I'd say I remember early in my career when I first started looking for opportunities to like do anything pretty much someone was like oh you should take any job thrown at you because you know any little bit of exposure helps bullshit because you know what i got scammed out of like three scripts if i'm correct and i i don't, have never seen so much as a comp or anything in terms of that work i i'm so mad about it. i think i deleted all that shit because like it's, it's not mine anymore so <laughs> that's don't don't believe anybody if they give you or say they want to give you exposure or they'll pay you on the back end or whatever don't take that shit get paid up front take always take half up front and then the other half upon completion because if you don't you get screwed over by pretty much everybody I mean, that's basically my worst bit of advice i ever had is pretty much attached to that like like uh like saying you should work for free and stuff and like that's that's horseshit as well because like you know the Beatles never worked for free and stuff and I don't ever hear people say this when they're like to me like they're like kind of like rich little uh hedge fund babies who don't need the work so I oh, yeah, do it for free like you know yeah, but, yeah. so that seems to be the general general gist that's the worst bit of advice don't work for free you know get something in re uh, in reward exposure isn't reward because you can expose yourself for free as well you know exactly <laughs> cool I'm glad that we both heard the same bit of shitty advice. We both, both realize it as shitty advice. Um, exactly. Um, are there any subjects that you won't tackle or anything you won't write about? Both um, of you. Yeah. I, as deep or so, sure that as you want. Like, no, I, you know, you, you know, it doesn't fight your boat or whatever. I, I pretty much, I don't think I really have many things that I won't write about, but there will be times when I, I do bring up issues within uh, my work I know there's at least going to be a couple things that people will notice that I have started writing about not that it's ever stopped but I'm for diversity and all that stuff within all sorts of media because you know what I grew up with far few real instances of like all right black people are the main character in a positive light over here, at least, I, and I've taken a lot of media, just in forms of entertainment, and I noticed that blacks are always like in some sort of grief-stricken situation, whether they're a criminal, uh, whatever, you know, subject to discrimination, whatever the hell it might be. I'm tired of it. Don't think that's fair for us to be put in such a harsh. Uh, light, which is why when I see things like uh, Black Panther or, you know, the fact that Luke Cage got a show on Netflix, which was cool, um, you know, movies like Hancock back in the early 2000s, you know, you know, granted, there was some sort of grief within it, but it was kind of due to memory loss and powers and some you. other shit. But, you know, just things like that, like, people always cry over oh this is woke or whatever because they're pushing for you know diversity no it's just pushing for a realistic view of things i grew up with hundreds of white you know characters in every form of book granted a lot of people i could relate to but every black or minority person was a side character that either got killed off real fast or brutalized in some type of way that i was uncomfortable with you know just look at war machine like he he's like the redheaded stepchild of just abuse in the 2000s because let's see he got killed more than once he got turned into a fucking cyborg for a little bit before his run got canceled i was enjoying the book for a while and then um he got killed as the starting point of civil war two the comic book and then in the movie i think he gets paralyzed yeah. in civil war so it's just like, I can't win for losing in terms of reasonable things. Like I get, he's a hero, but you don't have to do him so dirty like that. 
Yeah. But it's nice to see within this community, though, that there's a lot of uh, diverse, you know, actual diversity, not just the shit that people throw at the wall and hope, you know, somebody likes. I'm just trying to show out for some real decent, you know, stuff, stuff that don't seem so bad, you know, actually written by someone of the same race or yeah. whatever. So it, it kind of works out a little bit better. Okay. Yeah, I mean, cool. I thank you. Thanks for answering that question. And again, sorry for talking over it like a douche. Uh, no yeah, no, no I, problem at all. Yeah, like, uh, yeah. Yeah, it didn't, it didn't occur. Yeah. Well, that was, that got, um, well, in that case, I will ask something slightly less heavy because I'm not equipped to be dealing with heavy stuff because I'm a, uh, um, so on a really lighter note, if you could adapt one uh, uh, one child, uh, I will edit that out. If you could adapt uh, one uh, adapt and update one property from your childhood, what would it be? One property from my childhood. If I had to just spitball something, I'd say gargoyles. That was a cool property growing yeah. up. And I feel like, all right, I found out there were comic books for it recently, so I kind of want to go look at those. But otherwise, I feel like that should, you know, get some type of update for current generation folks or just you know, folks that remember it. So that way everybody can enjoy it. You know, they can do it for all these other properties that, you know, people don't care about or otherwise they just whatever. You know, you got so many iterations of the Ninja Turtles. I've watched yeah. most of them you know transformers he man whatever they could do it for those i want gargoyles i mean gargoyles just seem much easier to like yeah that'd be pretty fucking dope man especially if you can get like kind uh some uh keith david back to do the voice of like all yes the keith davidson yeah 